<laughs> Greetings and salutations, my fellow Entropians. <laughs> Hello. Let me let me get things uh, set up just a little bit, just so I can see the chats. I can see the chats. If anybody wants to come and chat, this is live. So there we go. I think I've fixed things up just a little bit to where it looks a little bit more clear. Probably not. It's, it's, it's going to be weird. We don't have a dislike button anymore, so I guess I don't have to worry about that. Uh, well, I, the dislike button is actually still there. Um, I went ahead and uh, put a uh, 1,000 PD on, on my, not card, but we went ahead and got some universal ammo. I've been uh, selling off some more stuff, and it looks like it just came through. It looks like we're up to 400. Look, we just sold the iron texture blueprint. Look, there was it was a lot. It was the, the limited blueprints that I managed to sell, but I guess a lot of them did not sell, and that made me kind of sad. It was a little bit sad. What? Actually, a bunch of them did sell, so that's good. I. <sighs> Wow, that sold too, for uber cheap. I, I hope somebody put, puts those things to really good use. That would be really nice. Um, and I guess I'm going to have to go out. All right, so here recently I have bought a new little toy. And let's go ahead and check this out. It's the Corrosive Attack Nanochip and number 7. We have the number 6, but we've already maxed it out. The number 7, however... Uh, Priokinetic hit. We're at 22.9, um, and you need to be t level 22 to be able to even use this. Therefore, we have until level 27 to level this bad boy up. Now, I'm really just, just outwardly just amazed at how bad the loot has been. While while I'm sitting here just trying to. Uh, to level but I guess the skills that I've been getting has been kind of kind of nice I've been doing a little bit of hunting on the side and I'm like uh, maybe just maybe oh geez what am I doing all right listen I'm just gonna fly out this way everything's gonna be nice and, and, and fine we're gonna be just fine <sighs> So loot has not been good, but the skill gain has been phenomenal. Um, we will go ahead and, and discover all this. We're, we will be heading into the PvP zone. I, I feel that the loot should be at least a little bit better out here. Um, because it's a PvP zone. Usually the loot is a little bit better. The lootable PvP zone would be even better. As, as so the theory would actually stand to be that way. Uh, at least that's the theory. I don't know for sure. <laughs> I'm just really looking forward to just hanging out and chilling and playing some Entropia over the next few coming months. Now, my finances are kind of, kind of shot because I don't want to get too political, but every single time... Like I, I like economies, you know, I like economics, so I'll I'll listen to all these economics people, you know, these business people talking about, you know, all sorts of things. It, it's it's kinda like my jam. At like when I when I'm not making content, I'm usually listening to these guys talk about money and where where to put investments and all this other stuff. And it, it's just been uh it's just a pastime of mine. Uh, I, I'd like to think that I know uh, I know a lot more than than I, I would if I didn't watch it, you know, naturally. But it's just what I do. And uh, my personal finances, you know, mostly revolve around the use of credit. Um, I've used a lot of credit to get places in this game. Uh, I, I, I put money on my credit card to buy these deeds and I throw it right in here and I pay off my credit card. Um, it, it's just how that works. You know, sometimes you, you have to use your, your credit to, to better your position, your lot at life. Um, as long as you can pay it back, 
uh, you're fine. Well, here, here, here's, here's where the, ooh. Ooh, what do we got here? Is that a somebody somewhere? Are they on the ground? Oh, they sure are. All right, let's see. Exit. Do, do, do. Arsonistic chip. And hit him with that. Oh, wow. They're... All right, he's fighting back. Let's see. <laughs> All right, let's see. There we go. I got him. Whew! Intense. <laughs> they almost died, though. <laughs> Justin Belpier says, let's go, Brandon. The salt must flow. You dang right. We just killed somebody. I feel happy. I feel so happy now. <laughs> we we did the PvP thing in this game. We we won a fight. How amazing is that? <laughs> But like like I was trying to say before before we got uh, interrupted in actual PvP things, um, every single time the 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 Brandon administration says something stupid about the economy, I would buy like a a, a gold coin, and uh, needless to say, they've said a lot of stupid things in the past month, so. I ended up buying a lot of gold coins, like little little one one tenth of an ounce coin. I would buy every time they'd say something stupid, and I put it all on credit. And uh, I know that was probably something really stupid of me to do, but I did. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so. I, then I found out that they're coming out with a new investment here in Entropia, and I'm like, I'm like struggling here. I'm like, oh god, how am I going to invest this money into this game with the with the Brandon administration keeps saying just dumb things about the economy, and 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 I know enough to know when they're saying something dumb because I've I, I've been looking into all the economic stuff. And it's like, oh geez, we are so screwed. Just, just, this, but I feel a lot better now that I, I, I bought that gold. I'm just saying, it's not that much though. But it, it's, it's enough. Trust me, they said a lot of dumb things. <laughs> Justin Bell says that's the only way Brandon's gonna make make you money. I know, right? <laughs> Every time they say something dumb, go out and buy a piece of gold, because God knows. Like, a, a little tenth ounce piece of gold. That's all you really need every time they say something dumb. But but understand, that's like $200 a piece, by the way. So, you got that going. We got that going on. So, I don't know how I'm going to invest into these new deeds. Like... It's it's kind of weird it, the the, the uh, sheer simple fact that uh, I guess we're gonna turn this into a, a kind of a mining run, might as well unamped of course. Bob Silent is up in the house. Hail Ludius! That's right, Ludius Maximus is up in the house. Um, but that being said, I'm I I still got a lot of room on my credit now. Now, here, here's something you may not know about me. Like, I'm actually 
disabled through the uh, the VA uh, due to my PTSD. Now, I know I don't talk too much about stuff like this, but it it it, it it's supposed to be the the temporary unemployability type, which pretty much means that you know I I, I can't actually hold down a job or anything which makes sense because i never really leave my room for any reason and it's it, it it's 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 like that um but it's up for review in march so i've been kind of freaking out like they're gonna take it away from me even though like nothing's really changed with with the way i am you know I, I, I get anxiety, I get paranoia sometimes, you know, and it, that, that's what I'm not making videos, like, I, mean, I have a life, it's, it's mostly in my room, but like, I just like, fr start freaking out for no reason, I know, I know, like, everyone has their problems, I guess, <laughs> Cap Awesome says, who does your groceries if you don't leave your room, I have a girlfriend, and, and she's, like, kind of in the same, same position, except for she's, I guess she's more high-functioning than I am. <laughs> so she goes out and she gets the groceries. But uh, with, with the advent of, of the coof, um, I, I, I've, I've learned that you can get almost anything you want from Amazon <laughs> delivered to your house. So I, 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 I get, like, I, I straight up get like water delivered to my house, like boxes of water, and I'm happy with that. And sometimes some jerky and all that. Bob Silent says deeds seem seem inflating, pr inflating proof. Yes, they they are actually inflating a little bit. Believe it or not. Uh, Justin says I feel you. I'm disabled too, but mine's physical. I don't go anywhere either. Well, to be completely fair, I mean. I do leave the house every so often. Don't don't get it too twisted. Like I will leave the house every so often, but it, it's just less and less and less nowadays. Mostly because I'm not vaccinated, and I'm not going to get vaccinated because because reasons. Like mostly, it's just because I don't trust the government, and we'll just leave it at that. I actually made a video about it. Uh, it's it's on BitChute because I didn't want to make it on YouTube. So if if you haven't checked that out, just go to my BitChute channel, Slore Spade. It's kind of easy. Uh, Bob Sant says DoorDash does it for me. I don't have have military history, just a history of being robbed. So I get a bit nervous under open air. Yeah. Oh, well, I I mean I I I got I got issues. So. But I don't really like talking too much about it. This is not what I like to do. I like everyone has their issues, I guess. But in March is when I have to get reevaluated to see if they're still gonna like like keep me where where I'm at, you know. And that has ha that's literally has has put so much anxiety on me. In, in the past few months that I am like freaking out on a constant basis like I, I it's it's like triggered me <laughs> like I'm actually having actual nightmares of like being poor again and it's not fun like it, it it's it's just I don't know how to explain it it's like I, I keep getting dreams where I'm like literally I'll I'll lose my debit card or something like that or I'm I'm being robbed. It's it's not fun. It's like what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I won't have any money anymore. It's it's really stressful. Like so and and, and the really bad part is is like it, it it it's pretty much put a a, spi a downward spiral uh, on, on everything I, I do now. It's like my, my YouTube channel is like I can't post extra videos and stuff like that because my YouTube channel is not even doing very well it, it is what it was like last year at this time. But, you know, that is to be expected due to all the, the craziness of what's been going on with the things. 
Um, Bob Sonnet says, there's years of evidence you never leave your room. The evidence is here on this channel. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Most definitely. Um, Cat Mossel says, dude, don't worry. A reevaluation doesn't mean they'll take it away. It's just because of the time lapse that expires half of the time. They don't actually really do much. Yeah. Justin Bell says, Big Gov wants you on their programs, so I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah, I hope you're right. Cat Mossop says, I got kids in the same type of situation mentally. Yeah. Holy crap. All right, the last time we fought these things, they weren't that bad. Oh, yeah, we just were in the really good armor. We should probably put that on. All right. Out of Ghost into Perseus, I guess. All right. Hit him with this. Hit him with this. I guess, I guess let's shoot him with the gun this time. But no, you just gotta understand. It's like been freaking me out. It's, it's, it's like sh stressful. So it's like... It's in March. So, so how am I supposed to max out my credit cards even further than they already are to put more money into this game? If, if I'm like... I'm like right at that the, the cusp moment of where like I didn't plan this out but it's it's actually a, a, after looking at it right I'm like this is perfect I have just enough money here in the next few months to pay off my credit cards completely so I don't at least at least I don't have to worry about being in debt if they for some reason take 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 away my 100% disability <laughs> And so, it's like that. And I don't know what to do. I mean, clearly, like, I'm still in the same position as I was before all this started. Like, you know, like, nothing has changed. I still get, like, bad bouts of, like, paranoia. And I still have, like pretty bad anxiety at times Bob silence gives me five dollars says don't spend it all on ammo buy a hot pocket too mmm hot I haven't had a hot pocket in a while would it be okay if I buy a taco with it tacos are really good around here do you what a few times I actually go outside is to, is to ride my bike and it's starting to get cold so it's like uh but I rode my bike to 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 the store to get a burger cat Mossop says smoke weed CBD not THC um I was taking the Delta 8 but I finally weaned myself off of that um I, I, that stuff still gives me paranoia um Hot pockets and 308s, <laughs> Justin Bell says. But no, nah, I'm I'm actually Bob saw it says a taco is acceptable, um, and that's good. <laughs> oh no, when it comes down to you know mind altering substances, I quit drinking once COVID started because I got really kind of too drunk and I started wigging wigging out outside that i got the sheriffs called on me um they were really chill they were they were really nice they said you know we can bring you in on disorderly conduct but we're just gonna let you ride your bike back home and i i didn't want to argue with them at that point i just got on my bike and i left <laughs> so i mean i like i will literally freak out sometimes and it's not pretty it's really just kind of it, it it's like kind of sad really but i this is why i don't like to go outside because like something will set me off and you know it's just just better if i stay in my room and mind my own business or at least just in a controlled setting you know play video games and and not rage on people and try try to stay within a, a nice frame of mind and just be chill you know it's, it's you know all the pvp in the world you know i i just think think of it as competition i'd never get mad 
but like I guess sometimes I'm like you know I, I get I get weird sometimes so I'm just like I don't know like it's just what it boils down to I'm just freaking out because I I, I, I I'm afraid they're gonna take away my body it is it's really bad because ever since I've got that money I've actually felt a little bit better about life in general Justin Bell's like woo yeah I know right it's but yeah I've actually felt like the first thing I did when I got that money was I bought my computer my PC I bought my PC and because I was already doing YouTube off off the Xbox you know like I was already doing that so I was like before that point, I was like, man, I wish I had the money to buy a PC. This really sucks. I hate being poor. I really hate this bullshit. This is some dumb bullshit, and I hate it. And I, I wish somebody would just give me enough money to where, where I can buy a PC so I can, like, start making better content. That's that's how I was. And then finally the V8 just ups and, like, I, I mean, I applied for it, but, you know. They finally give me some money, I'm like, Holy crap, that is that is a lot of money. Like, because they back paid me for all the months that they, they weren't paying me. And 100% is a lot. <laughs> um, a month. So, I'm sitting there with, like, over 10 grand. And, like, I'm like, well, first things first. Going to pay off everything, every debt that I owe. And, and I still have money after that. And that was that was a load off my back, and then I still had enough money to, like, literally buy a new PC and get started making some content. And that was like in 2017, like, in March. So it was pretty cool. And it's been five years, and I'm like now I'm freaked out. Like, oh my god, but. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm still going to, to, to stay the same. It's just the government, you know? <laughs> so the government kind of sucks. It, it always has, like, especially the VA. So I don't know. I'm just Maybe I'm just freaking out over, for no reason but it's literally my anxiety is so high over this it's just it's so if there's any questions as to why sometimes i just don't make content for like a week it's because i'm just like trying to chill like for real uh but it, it that in itself is the cycle is like i know i should be doing it daily it's just i just i just can't i'm just freaked out i don't know anyways that that has been a nice long rant of why i i'm just like not that stable <laughs> but i mean everybody has their problems and this is this is why i i i understand other people as well i mean i'm, I'm not one without empathy but i i i do understand the fact that you know Sometimes you, you really do have to, to change your outlook on the way you view life. <sighs> this, it, it, it is definitely like, it's usually the rich people that tell you money is not a problem. And it's usually the, the really attractive people that say looks aren't everything. You know, like, the hell are you talking about? I'm poor. <laughs> I'm ugly and I'm poor, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Justin Bell says, no, it's justifiable. I get the same way around renewals. Yeah, it's just the government, man. She just picked up some pyrite stone. I think that's PvP zone exclusive. All right, nice. But, I mean, to be completely fair, like, I've kind of, kind of, 
ha- have a big head about my YouTube channel. Like, it's giving me a lot of self-confidence, to be completely honest. You know, having you guys watch my content and actually legitimately enjoying it, you know, like, th- that that means a lot to me. And the thing is, I kind of don't want to grow too big because then, then that might actually cause a problem with the VA and the unemployability thing. And that, and... It, I like it. I like the channel being uh, ma- manageable enough to where I can read every single comment that is made to me, or made for this channel, and, and actually have time to respond to it. You know, I've heard stories that once you get to a, so big that I mean, all you could really do is just heart and move on, and, which sometimes I do anyway. But like. Justin Bell says, I, I didn't like having my fate decided by other... Yeah, I feel you on that. But, I mean, yeah. Yeah, your fate being decided by other... That's that's pretty hard, hardcore stuff, too. Honestly. But that, that, that happens all, all too often. All too often. But all I know is I'm just really happy with where my life has gone in the past five years. In-game Bio Chronicle says, yeah, I heard that too. Once you get too big, it all goes away. That all goes away. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I like being able to communicate with everybody. Um, not to say that I wouldn't enjoy being big, bigger or anything like that. And, you know getting the rewards that come with it but once i started getting too big last december like and i i could tell um because i actually managed to make like 800 dollars last december and i was like whoa okay that's that's a little bit too much too much money coming my way like and it, like there's a lot of attention coming coming my way as well so i was like all right i got to taper it down a little bit you know, take a little, take 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 a little bit of a break, and, and just 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 to stay small. You know, Cat Mossop says you can grow bigger, just don't change your style. People seem to think bigger mean means more to do. We all watch for how it is, so why up the content when you get more subs? They subbed for how it is now, exactly. Which is which is why you know. I, I, I messed around with a little bit of, like, editing and stuff like that. Ooh, fruit. But I, I still don't heavily edit, edit my videos. I, I like the long-form content more than anything. I think uh, it does attract... Uh, long-form content tends to attract more intellectually-minded people, such as yourselves. <laughs> because you at least have an attention span. That's longer than 30 seconds. Uh, and I can tell this is true through the analytics. I I don't have that many, like, 18 to 25-year-olds watching my channel. It's mostly people my age and older. And I'm completely okay with that. <laughs> because it, it just seems like we are from a different generation, apparently. I mean, it's the truth. We are a different generation than some of the the youngins coming up. And man, let me tell you, some of the youngins coming up, man, they're uh, we're not supposed to talk bad about other people or uh, groups of people. But the the kids are not all right. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh. Justin Bell says, I remember when it was hopping here last December. Yeah, it really was. It really was. Cat Moslem says, like what you make it, uh, life's what you make it, so you no longer need the gov and YouTube pays for your living. I, I would wish that would be the case, but it's not. I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think I could handle having to... YouTube uh, is just, it's not stable. It, not f- 
for what I'm do, what I do. I I I only play for niche audiences, as you as you guys probably know. There there is not enough PVPers or anything like that in in, in these other games. Uh, and, and like I said, you know, a lot a lot of these other people would like all the flashy edits and all this other stuff, and I just like what I do, you know. But Cat Moss, that would be a good thing. It, it kind of would be, but I mean, to to be completely fair, like I, I mean, I, I still got my issues to deal with as well. And. And YouTube is not really that stable of a job, so I guess it's kind of a hobby, hobbyist job, you know. I like I like to call it my job. It's my way of contributing to society as a whole. But as far as it being like a main income producer for me, it's 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 I don't think it's ever going to be. But I mean, it's it's a lot of fun, and I I I, I do like the taco money, you know. <laughs> and and to be completely fair whenever whenever i do get paid from youtube i usually give money to other people as well i, I like to be really generous like um if there's somebody on twitch that i i really like or something like that or you know a channel i really like i'll i'll, I'll, jo I'll hit the join button on, on them and stuff like that or you know, I'll give the bits on the Twitch channels and maybe a, a membership to a few people or I'll gift subs, you know. So it's I, 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 I usually give back as well sometimes. So that, that's, that's where some money goes. It usually goes to content creators that I like as well. <laughs> Jane McCoy is up in the house. She says, hey, guys. Hey, Jane. Captain Lock Awesome says, eight watching, only three likes. Let's go, people. Hit that like button. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, and Justice says, you're a journalist for GNN. <laughs> you're damn right we are. But, I mean, it, like I said, I, I play for very niche audiences. So, growing is probably, I mean... There's always room for growth, but I don't I don't think it's gonna be massive growth, you know But I, I'm happy with where I'm at and I'm I'm just like I said I'm freaking out because of the BA thing, but you know it's, it, We'll just see where that goes, you know But I'm, I'm back to play it in Tropia for a little bit and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you the, the loot I've been playing a few days, like, uh, like hunting and mining and stuff, and, like, not really too much mining, but mostly hunting, and the loot kind of sucks. But, to be fair, I've been, I've been in the skill increase bonus for a lot of, like, a lot of my skills, so it is definitely all going to skills, as, 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 as it's supposed to, I, I suppose. It's how this game works. So it's it's working as intended. But I I really love the Entropia soundtrack. This music, this background music is just really relaxing. I've always loved it. But yeah, I just decided I was gonna go ahead and talk about this with you guys because I just go ahead and get it off my chest. So get a little bit more in, in inside information you know because it is kind of a side side game here anyway that as you can as you can see not many people are rushing to see some entropia content and you guys are just really here to see me you know which i appreciate immensely and totally thank you very much it's just you know I just want to tell you guys how I how I was feeling about what's going on. It's like ah, it's it's a lot. It it's a it's a lot for for me to take in sometimes. But I, I'm 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 pretty happy with how things are going. 
I'm really hoping that we could come across somebody else and kick their ass. Now, that would be really fun. Give me another green dot. I still can't believe we won that fight. And he, he was struggling to stay alive if you did not see him just trying to heal himself. I'm, I'm going to have to re-watch that. I'm so glad it, it happened at the beginning of the video. Tom Cruise says, what's your favorite types of games? Um, I like games with an actual economy in them. So I can play the economy. And to be completely honest, New World was going to be a game where I could play the economy until they screwed everything up. And I'm just like I haven't played it too much since they screwed everything up with the last patch. Where everything in your storage, if you have too much in your storage, you can't sell it. Like, I had, like, so much stuff in my storage, I couldn't sell it. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just, I'm kind of done. I'm just done. That was the only thing keeping me playing. <laughs> it's just try, trying to make my way in the market there. But this game is pretty tight um, because of the whole e real cash economy aspect of it. Like, I, I I really like this game. I I left Eve Online back in 2009 to play this. And I left World of Warcraft to play Eve. Because I just needed more, more stimulus in the economical department. You know, because I, I was making Mad Bank in World of Warcraft back before they, like, started selling those little things. To, to, to just sell to make gold automatically back in the day if you wanted if you wanted fat stacks of gold you had to like play the market and I did and I did very well doing all that but now you can't really do that anymore so just yeah Midnight Bacon says getting ready for TI2 I like to say NTI honestly New Treasure Island but you're all about Treasure Island too. I don't know. I I guess you have the insider information of what everybody else is calling it. I'm gonna, we'll call it my own thing for now. Bayrock, holy crap! Hey, Lawrence, I just started to play Eve again, and the new player experience seems much better now. I I don't like Eve as much as I used to back in the day, honestly. Um. Mostly because, like, I, what I used to like to do is fly around in a ship and pick things up and drop it off in an arbitrage trading situation. And I just don't have 20 minutes time between stations to just, like, fly around. I mean, granted, I could just watch a YouTube video at the same time, but it's like... Eh, I just don't have the time to play EVE. I don't have... The attention span, I guess. I, I, I don't know. But Bayrock, hey! Bayrock says, It's very hard for me to sustain myself in Entropia, but Eve seems to have a better economy. Well, you know, when it comes down to Entropia, I... You, you, have, to, you have to invest over time in, in the deeds and then just, like, try to... Try to hopefully be able to play off that. But yeah, I can understand how it is hard to sustain yourself in Entropia. Because you, you it, the loot sucks. <laughs> At least from a free-to-play perspective. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, what I really want to do, honestly, and this might be pie in the sky, but definitely once... Uh, yeah, we can take this. Once, once I do get my reevaluation over and done with, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure to, you know, at least have another few more years. I actually want to completely manipulate the sweat market. I want to completely manipulate the sweat market in Entropia Universe, and the fruit market and the stone market. Completely manipulated upwards by just completely throwing like thousands of dollars at it. 
and just stockpiling it and not doing a damn thing with it. But right as it stands right now, like I just recently just sold a whole bunch of mind essence and welding wire for so cheap it, it made my head spin. Like honestly. Alright, throw this at it and then throw this at it and then just we're, we're getting pyrotechnics. Let's go. But Mid Midnight Baker says the new deeds comes out at 11 p.m. UTC time. I believe so. I believe so. Not quite sure, but I believe so. I just know that I, I should be ready for it at some point in time. And then... I don't know. I, I had the ability to throw at least 12,000 PED at those deeds, but I decided to buy Calypso land deeds in, instead. Four of them. Which, to be completely honest, is probably not a bad move in and of itself, except for the fact that I bought it at 3000 a pop. And that, that's $300 a pop. Let's just, let's just be real. $300 for something that pays off like 30 cents a week alright I gotta kill this thing it won't die like what should I use just keep keep hitting it with things alright let's shoot at it let's see if that works Cat Mossum says, I just want a good sci-fi MMORPG that the community is large and everywhere you look, everyone is playing it. Not fantasy genre, though. L Life make WoW in 76 universe. Less swords, more pew pew. I mean, this is... Oh, wow. 15 PD. Nice. Loot's not that bad. But, man. Ooh. What is this? Cornicatas. Midnight Bacon says, I got an Alarium set. And Bayrock says, these Latumis look interesting. And if Treasure Island Deeds are er anywhere near as successful as the Crystal Palace shares, it will be worth it. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be. Um, the Crystal Palace shares, I think it's going to be worth it. Because it's on Calypso, period. And that's gonna but somebody did mention that it, you're not going to have unique loot as, as such uh, that Crystal Palace does. That might be true, but it is still on Calypso, and there will be people going there and spending money. So I think it will be worth it. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't sell out in the first couple of days, though, because I'd really like to, over time, just be able to pick some up as well. Because, I mean, think about it like this. It's freaking, it's freaking December. Who the hell releases a, a, a public offering in December? It's like... It's like it's like I have to ask, hey Jesus Jesus I know it's your birthday but can you please bless these uh, these deeds right here make it make it make it worth something like uh, uh, I know it's your birthday but you know we're we're both December babies you know like come on it's freaking December it's Christmas it's like people got money flying out their asses nowadays it's freaking Christmas. But yeah, Mind Arc does. <laughs> Definitely. But, uh. I mean, this is a sci fi MMORPG, uh, Cap Mossum. Like, but it's a real cash economy. I don't know. I mean, the games market nowadays, it just doesn't seem like anything's really hitting the mark anymore. And. It's kind of sad, because. The vast majority of people don't like PvP, and New World's supposed to be some sort of PvP game, but you still got, like, a lot of PvE aspects that they're forcing PvPers to do PvE, and I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm kind of done on that, too. 
Tom Tom Cruise says, "What games would you play if Fallout seventy six died?" I'd probably go back to playing this full time, honestly. But I mean, Dying Light two is coming out here pretty soon. I'm definitely gonna get in on that. And uh, you know, I'm gonna be making some content on that. Um, I don't know. We just, we just gotta keep looking out for for the games. I'm really just not happy with the game gaming industry nowadays. Like it's just. The market has become too catering to casuals that it, it's it's so hard to find a game to get hardcore about, you know. Bayrock says, "Also, I have the forty-five meter auto loot pet for sale. If you're interested, just saying it was a gold rush prize from back in the day." I got Sophie. Sophie's my little auto loot pet. I'm I'm good. I'm good. But yes, Captain Also Di Dying Light Two. That's coming out. I'm hoping it. They keep they keep pushing back the release date, and so I'm hoping that it releases with so little bugs that it's just it's it's going to be okay. I already pre-ordered it. Like I own it. All it has to do is come out, and we're, we're good to go, you know? But the thing is, mo when most games nowadays, they come out, it's so freaking full of bugs. And then, if it has an economy in it, next thing you know, there's dupers and all this other stuff that just completely ruin the economy. And then, you can't, once, once the economy is ruined like that, there's, there's no coming back from it at all you know it's like damn tom cruise says rainbow six siege is pretty good and hardcore if you're into tactical first person shooters i'm not um i i will play the occasional call of duty Warzone. my favorite aspect of that is the the the, the blood money and running around getting the money um but not the actual a battle royale mode i kind of i kind of don't like battle royales but i do like the fact that the the blood money exists so i can play that i don't have to worry about a circle enclosing on me it's just stressful and i don't like to feel that kind of that kind of stress and that's kind of why i didn't like nuclear winter just throwing that out there Bayrock says, amen on the market catering to casuals. That's why I got into Eve and still playing OSRS from time to time. What's OSRS? I don't know what that, I don't know what that acronym is. You have to type that out for me. And I Bacon says, very true. They are pandering to mobile gamers that like the instant rewards with gems or something. Oh God. Yeah. Look, there's nothing wrong with games like that. You know, that's like a that's like entry level like it's like uh the gateway to gaming, I guess, nowadays. Like they they did all that, but just because it's the gateway, like every, all these people move over to all these other games and they expect the games to be the exact same. It's it's just not how it should be. Like they should cater to some hardcore people as well. But that being said, I do like some of the, some of the the flashiness of some of the casual things too. Old school RuneScape. Why did I not get that? I I didn't didn't get a chance to play that, and I I I've been pampered with good graphics for a while. Um. But yeah. Catmaster says, app style microtransactions has taken over. That it's not the same. Long are the days we could buy a full game on release, having been tested full before release. Who remembers Mario Party? Now that's a game. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, in a way, though, I do like the, you know, always a game will always get a game that can get updates, you know, but I do like it to release with 
without many bugs. Look, I know we are in a, the time where, you know, they can release a game. It still be a buggy mess and, you know, they can, f they can fix it along the way. It's a little annoying. I get it though. They want to go ahead and start, start bringing in some money, but then they start making really dumb decisions. Like take fallout, for example, they start making really dumb decisions and then they start taking away PVP. Like, come on on dude like is, is that not, not what we we signed up for and then sunk sunk value fallacy and all this other stuff barracks says i admit i've fallen for some gotcha games in the gyms model yeah oh john diaz is here hey man look yeah look i don't mind them selling cosmetics either you know um but if they're going to have a model like that, they, they, they really do need to go ahead and put, push it to a free to more free to play, you know, but that being said, I mean, this game is free to play. It's, it, it, it's probably one of the first games like it in, in the whole genre of free to play. Hell, uh, if, like, you know, uh, Neverwinter, Neverwinter actually, uh, took a lot of, a lot of the aspects from this game. They, they, was, they were like, oh, well, Entropia is free to play, and they have all sorts of things, and they, they do economy and stuff like that, except for it's real cash, but we don't need a real cash. We just you know, make it free to play, make it optional, and then, like, see if people will buy in, and, you know, people bought in. You know, free to play just basically means you're going to, you, it, it, it's free to play, but if you really want to play, you got to put that money in. Which this game, I mean, it's real cash. So that's, I mean, that's just how that is. I understand, but the thing is, you can actually pull money out of this game if you make it in in the game, and that's the beautiful part of about this. And, but I, I've gone through everything you need to know about this game in, in general of how to actually start making that money work for you. But you know, not everyone can do that. But it's not completely true. John Diaz says, PvP is alive in ESO and Dark Souls 3. I've never really messed with Dark Souls at all. But ESO... Uh, once once you get to Emperor, uh, when you really deserve it, you know? Like, you've beat the game. And I'm, I'm, I, I will never, ever, 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 ever stay up for three days straight playing ESO ever again. Because um, I did that. It, 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 I did that right before I started making YouTube videos. I was playing ESO. And then I decided, hey, you know what? I'm just going to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> but I, I made Emperor. Okay? And that was in Cyrodiil in the PvP section. You know? And the lobby was fu freaking full, man. Like, and I would stay like days in Cyrodiil, dude, like without sleep. Bayrock says, all devs care about is revenue these days. Not even going to talk about Star Citizen. Oh yeah, let's not talk about Star Citizen. I actually gave Star Citizen a little bit of money and they gave me a ship, a cheap one. But I haven't played it ever since because I didn't like the button layout. I didn't like how the buttons worked. So I guess that's my problem. John Gia says, I've only ever heard of this game through you and your other viewers. First time seeing it. Yeah. Um, I really do need to get back in to doing a little bit more content for this game, though. Um, and I've already announced that, uh, that I will be doing such just that you know um because i do have a a good investment in this game and the investment is 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 fairly nice to just keep me playing you know and may, maybe in the future maybe provide me with some 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 extra taco money you know in in case the world goes to shit mm, hit that Oh yeah, die. More and watch you die. 
Yeah. I love Mind Force. John Gia says, I feel you on Cyrodiil. I'm more of a deathmatch guy myself. Now, I do do appreciate uh, ESO went into uh, deathmatch modes. Um, like, like team deathmatch is like a five on five. I thought that that was really cool. You know? Um, but I, 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 I've played that game. I don't want to grind up on, on the PC. Um... Because on the Xbox, I put a lot of time into it, you know. Bayrock says, Entropia desperately needs some quality content. Yeah, it really does. I mean, we do we, we do got other content creators out there. Like, uh, I, I just recently found out there's a guy called Mim Mim or something like that. Um, he's been rocking out the Entropia Universe content. Uh, never really talked to the guy. We got Stevie B... And his his cup clanking, and it's about all I could say bad about the guy. Like he has some good info, I'll give him that. Like, but I, I remember watching some of Stevie B's videos where he was like talking about his haters not liking his cup clanking, and I'm like, that's actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> but. I mean, I don't know. I really ain't got nothing bad to say about that guy either, honestly. Like, he's doing he's doing his part to improve the, the the creator economy. So, like, and he he's put in the work. So, cup clanking Stevie B. <laughs> yeah, Bayrock. <laughs> Hades is up here. Hello, Hades. Barak says, I heard the new uh, version update is coming as well as the Unreal Engine change. Yeah, I read up on that. Apparently that is actually a thing that's going to be happening. So I guess the game is going to keep evolving and changing. Um, they're keep they're going to keep updating the graphics. And that's actually really good for the game. You know, whenever they do that, I just, you know, hope it doesn't affect the economy at all. You know, it doesn't affect... The, the the base part of the game where you know you can still withdraw money after you make money if you make money <laughs> Barrack says puff it on cigarettes and sipping sip sipping coffee yeah ain't nothing wrong with that I I, I mean anybody that hates hate, hate hates another man for just Sitting there chilling out and making a video for them, you know. I, I mean, to be completely honest, they, they, they can, they can just suffer through it, you know. It's when somebody is giving you really good information or valuable information, you know, you should, you should ignore the bad parts of it. Not everyone is freaking Steven Spielberg, you know, like. If you're looking for high quality content on video games, like like Entropia Universe content creators are probably not gonna give it to you. Cause I mean they 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 can. They, I, I know I'm not going to, because this is not the way I do things. I don't know. And I'm pretty sure Stevie B is not about to do that shit either. <laughs> Serial Overdrive didn't do that. <laughs> this game's pretty simple. You turn on the recording button, and, and you and, and you just do some random stuff like I'm doing here. You just just run your mouth. <laughs> you just start talking. That's it. The Midnight Bacon says people are still on old PCs. Yeah, people are still on old PCs, <laughs> and that's what makes makes the the version updates go so horribly wrong. Like people are like, uh, wait, I I can't play now. What are you doing? I can't play. I need a new PC. Oh my god. Well, you know, it's probably a good idea to to go ahead and get your PCs upgraded anyway, or you just you know, at least once a decade at least. Haiti says. 
Smoking some Indo, drinking on gin and juice, laid back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Old school Snoot Dog. Absolutely. Stepping on gin and juice, laid back with my mind on my money, my money on my mind. Yeah, that's how that works, man. Hope I don't get copyright struck for that. <laughs> Jesus. We we have had some adventures on this channel, I tell you what. Bob Silent says, I love CVB's presentation and attitude. Yeah, CVB is pretty cool. I just thought it was really funny that people were hating on him because of some dumb shit. <laughs> Midnight Bacon says, I could never work out why CVB was getting hate. Well, I mean, he does come off as, uh, I guess, a, a gruffy old guy in a way. Um, but, you know, everyone is different, you know? It, but he is, I would consider him a bear uh, in terms of economics. You know, he's not really that bullish on things. He's more cautious about it. He, 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 like, whenever he was talking about the new Treasure Island deeds, he's like, everyone needs to watch out. It's it's probably not going to do very well. And, and as for me, I'm kind of very bullish about it because, like, look, it, it, I, don't, I don't remember how bullish I was on Ancient Greece, but I still, I still put my money where my mouth was, and I bought a whole bunch of them, and... I kind of feel like I just got burned a little bit, so I sold off 500 of them straight up. Um, but they're still selling for 10 or less. But I'm very bullish on any every single time they come out with a new investment. You know, um, it it is what it is. I. I would I would have loved them to do a lot more with the Arcadia Moon, um, but I guess they're doing the slow and steady route, like like people live forever and shit, because that's that's not how that shit works. You know, people don't live forever. They need to go ahead and get this stuff done. Honestly, figure out what's not working and and fix it. So everyone can make a little bit of money in this game and and of course you know the game developers have to make their money too which sometimes sometimes I think they're just giving away skills more than they are loot but that's that's what it is Bob Sonnet says especially since I'm screwing off and not doing anything with my channel yeah Bob what have you been doing man you keep working at that but you, 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 you're hilarious, by the way, sometimes. Bayrock says, Treasure Island is part of Calypso. The deed should be fine. Enough said. Absolutely. That, I mean, I'm I'm really bullish, but there, there, there are reasonings behind it. Like, all it needs is to be repopulated with mobs um, and higher maturities for the Ubers. And maybe even myself, like I can, I can take out some things too. But it it would be nice if if loot was a little bit better. But I, I, I mean, I can understand that you know, Mindark has to make their money, and uh, Ludius needs to be fed to be able to give blessings upon other people, if that's even how it works. I, I'm I'm almost done trying to to figure out the loot theory of this game. I think I'm just just gonna sit back and, and just just enjoy the gameplay for what it is, yeah. Midnight Bacon says the bear is back in its cage. Bob Sot says if they're selling Treasure Island again, it must be mean the lawsuit is over. Yeah, probably. Um, in, in all in all reality, I mean. I think their share system is a little bit better than having an individual own something outright. Um, granted, that does mean that you know you, you're not we're not going to be able to like 
manage the land as, as as such but that's okay when you have a share system it's a, it's, it's it's the capitalist system's way of like actual socialism in a, in a way just everyone sharing the profits if they put the money in I guess uh, I don't know I don't know how that works but you know I, I think it's great it's just spread the wealth but yeah just pulling your capital together that's what it is so not really that socialistic Except for, I don't know. A word salad, I suppose. Midnight Bacon says, They said the mobs would be a part of the natural spawn. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that, that's how that works. Bayrock says, I gave up on loot theories too. The only valid theory I have is that it eats your pet. Yeah, it does. That's a valid theory. I, I just think that, you, like, the loot theories are nice and all, but the reality of, of, of the situation is is hunting, mining, and crafting, in some cases, everything's in, in some cases, you're going to lose money. The only way to make money in this game is to trade or own land, or shares and deeds and all this other stuff. That's, that's it. Period. And... It, because of that, you know, it is it it becomes a real economy. And so you have people out there trying to treat this as some sort of gambling game, and it's not. It is not a gambling game, because the fact of the matter is, is all these activities, if if done way too much, will lose you money. Yeah, Jackson Jackson's share system. Yes. We got sh shares. Uh, hold on, let's let's pull this out of the ground really quick. We get shares and deeds. We have deeds right here. I got 14 Calypso land deeds, 427 Arcadia underground deeds, 956 Arcadia moon deeds. And under share system, we have 3,000 ancient Greece sh shares and uh, 3,500 Crystal Palace shares. I am so glad I bought a shit ton of these shares <laughs> at, at, at the base price of 10 PED a piece. And if you don't know the, know the numbers, 10 PED is equal to one US dollar. Okay? These were 10 share or 10 PED a piece or a dollar a piece. These were a dollar a piece. These these I probably bought for 100 PD, so $10 a piece. Uh, these, I bought most of them for about 60 uh, for at least 600 of them. At, at 60, 50, okay, about 250, 460, and then the rest at uh, probably about 30, 5, maybe 40. And these are 300 a piece. Which I guess I bought a few at uh, two thousand five hundred, maybe 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 one thousand five hundred, at least three of them. So, yeah, it's it's an interesting game. And the thing is, if I really wanted to just liquidate all the shares, all all the deeds that I own right now, I I could I could probably easily raise at least uh maybe ten grand. U.S. dollars, maybe, maybe, and have it put in my bank account in the next few months. But I'm not going to because that that, that means I'll I'll have to like I'll I'll never be able to play this game ever again, you know, like because to to do anything in this game is going to cost you money, like. So, and these deeds and shares, they pay out dividends weekly, like weekly. And the Arcadia deeds pay out daily. And, I mean, getting like 4 PD a day or, you know, 4 PD a day, like nine, nine and a half, almost 10 PD a day. It's, it's like 14 
about 15 PD a day. That's enough to do low level stuff every day if I really wanted to. It, I mean, granted, if they pay out. And then weekly, you get the the Calypso shares. With 14 deeds, I get paid out 50 PD for one week. On so, I'm, I mean, you, I'm able to play this game without putting money in at this point. You know? John Diaz says, so this is a trading game. What exactly am I looking at? Pi says, nice deeds. Ooh, yeah. Um, everything in this game is worth real money. Um, to the actual, let's see, these things right here, the survey probes, it takes like, uh, what is it? Like, seriously, it's, this is one, one and a half PED. So one PD, like I said, like is like t I guess it's like fifteen cents a drop, right? So every single time I drop one of these probes, it costs me fifteen cent in real life money, fifteen cent, and then I I, I get the loot, which is all all this stuff right here, which I guess I guess we need to go ahead and maybe hit the road. Because we're moving slow, so, so then you can actually manage to. Uh, oh no, we got like what three PEDs worth of this Listerium ingot. Let's see how much is it worth. It's probably just all right. Three PED, three point three six PED. So I could sell this for a hundred and three point ninety five. So one hundred and four percent markup. So somebody will give me. Not just three dollars and thirty-six PD worth of PD. They'll give me maybe I don't know an extra twenty-five cents. Now this is really rare. Uh, one of the big things is you actually have to accumulate enough to where you can sell it on the market if you wanted to. So the only way to really sell it on the market is to at least have like a stack of at least a hundred. That way the fee doesn't eat eat through your heart. Or you can have a shop, which I do have a shop, but you know. It is definitely a trading game. So you can actually just... All you can do... Are, are, like, you, you could just sit there and uh, trade all the time and just make actual bank. You can just make money in the game. by You put in your, like, $1,000 and just start buying everything you can from everyone. And then you have all these items. And hopefully you bought everything at a cheaper rate. And then you can sell it for higher. Boom. So you'll take that profit and you can either, I don't know, save up your profit until you can make a withdrawal from the game, you know, like that, that's just, that's just smart. Like you can do that or you could go out and hunt and mine. That's the fun part of the game, you know, actually doing things. But when you do that, you're, you're losing money, but you're getting items that, that can be sold. And the thing is you're, you, you get skills. Like, you get all sorts of skills. All these skills that I just... These are all the skills that I just picked up while going out there. And the thing is, all the skills that you get, you know, it raise your level. But what's really cool is you can actually sell off your skills. You know? Uh, let's see. Skill implants. Category. Boom. All right. See all this? Somebody is selling their weapon handling skill. Twelve A value of 12... 12.27 uh, that's the TT value of the skill and they're going to sell that for 240 PED right so even if you're quote losing money uh if your loot really sucks you know you know you're not getting enough of these these items right here you're still getting all these skills that are actually worth money. This is this is where the losses actually go. Is is these skill gains. People tend to not remember that. It it's this right here. This is where the losses go. Is the skill gain. And all you have to do is sell your skills. And that's what people do when they cash out. And everything is real money. Based off the US dollar. This game is made in Sweden. But it's based off of the U.S. dollar. Because the dollar is the world reserve currency. You, you dig? 
So it's based off the U.S. dollar because it, the U.S. dollar is the world currency. They, I mean, they game plan this out. Like this is this is this is, this is legit. <laughs> but yeah, it, no, it's it's not really like no no man's sky at all. I mean, you can't really build anything now. Granted, like I, I I have my own little house and stuff. You can like furnish your house, but you can't like build anything. You can fly through space. Let's see what. How well did we did we do with all this? We went out for a while, and now I'm not selling this. So 144, and let's see, 855. Do, do why don't do I have a calculator? Hold on, let me let me break out this calculator really quick. All right, uh, come on. All right, 144.95. Plus, uh, is it 855.53? Plus 855.53. Boom. We actually made... Like, f f five cent profit. Before repairs. <laughs> Let's see. What's the repair look like? Five seventy-eight. Damn it. <laughs> we lost a little bit, but you know what? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Because if you think about it, all all these markups on all these items, that I think we actually kind of kind of did really well. So let's go ahead and merge all stacks. Put everything in its proper order. Ooh, we have big wig boards, huh? So basically, over time, I don't think I've really showed you guys much of this, but I I don't like to sell things unless they're in a big enough stack, or if I use them, I like to stockpile them. And I, I, I actually do a lot of work with these items right here, and I'm a level 8 colorer, so I, I use paints, so I'm just stockpiling the paints. But I don't like to sell too many things unless it's like a common item such as this, which is animal muscle oil. I might sell that. But only whenever the stacks get big enough to where, you know, animal eye oil, if, if, if I had like 50 more PEDs worth, I'd probably sell it. Or I wouldn't because there's something I can do with it like right now, which I craft. So let's see. Um, plastic conductors. So we have animal eye oil and animal muscle oil. Let's go ahead and get these things crafted. Boom. And then you never know, you might actually strike it big here. All right. I'm going to go up and, and look at some of the previous. So it's uh, NYCE, the game. Wait, what? I don't understand. Hey, uh, just in case says, "Hey, Laura Bacon, Hades, Jeez, Chat, uh, how are things? Good to see you again, dude. Hey, Justin, we 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 we, we talked about you in the in, in the Fallout live stream. I think it was late last night, or the one before that. You your 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 homage to the the PVP YouTubers was up on your back wall. One of my favorite pictures. Hey, man." Mayonic. John Diaz says it's like no, it's not like No Man's Sky. Nothing like it. Jexter Jackson says so you should buy things at a low price. Yes, the low the lowest price that you could actually buy anything though would probably be the TT value. Like most all items have the TT value, which is what you could throw it into the trade terminal for and just. To sell it to the the game again, and that's the lowest price. So if you could get get people to just give you items for the TT value, that would be like the best thing you could possibly do. So you could actually sell it for profit every single time. The odds of you being able to do something like that is probably pretty low, especially people that know what they're doing. Like, no, I'd rather just hold on to it then. 
But if you get if, if if you have a whole army of noobs at your disposal and all they're doing is selling everything to the TT machine anyway, you know, just you know, it's always nice to give somebody a little bit of extra if you are trading and doing anything like that. But yeah, buy low, sell high. That's basic rule of economics. But Joey Diaz says, when I compare it to No Man's Sky, I just mean it's a commerce and collection driven game. Yeah, I guess. But when it comes down to the actual economy of it all, it, it I mean, people make spreadsheets and all this other stuff. I, I, I just go with the simple, the simple phrase of buy low, sell high, you should be fine. You know? But also, I, I like to use the law of, like, averages so I can, like, I can basically take losses on cer certain things and it not really be a big deal as long as the overall situation is, is, is kind of profitable. And the fact that I have all these deeds, like, it kind of lulls me into a false sense of security when it comes down to making losses. Because all I gotta do is wait a few days and get those losses back. But, I mean, and then I'll go into debt further or whatever. <laughs> Justin K says, I'm glad I found the time to watch some Loris Bade and his mods finally. I, I'm good as far as the situation allows. Hell yeah. John Diaz says, NYCE says being the stock exchange. Yeah, I guess. I mean, the the thing is that the deeds and stuff, is, it, that's just one aspect. I mean, these I mean these are the shares and stuff like that. And we got the, these, the, the Ped Flow Center and the deed income and stuff like that to get the dividends. But the real economy takes place over here at the auctioneer and on the streets. Yeah. On the streets, where you you sit there and well, let's just go ahead and open it up. Uh, here, here, here we go. We got Cali Trade up and running. It says, "Buy this person is buying pills and strong boxes, and all you gotta do is just message them." You got this person right here. They're they're uh, this this one's selling a Slipner, a low TT Slipner. Uh, just like. Everyone's selling something. We got rock. Tri we got all the chats in this, so it's moving pretty fast. Let's see. Can, can I just do that or something? Selling uh, six point or four point six DP is of animal essence rare. Actually, that's. Let's see how much how much that actually is. So it's gonna be like a uh, boom. Whoa! Look at that chart. It's been going up. And they have like 4.60 PDs worth at that markup. Holy shit. Yeah, that they're they're probably asking for mad bank for that. And and rightfully so. It's kind of really hard to get all that, that stuff. Alright, look at the statistics. Yeah. I don't know if we made money off of this or lost money, but we, we definitely did something. Sometimes I don't even care. You know? All I know is we have an item now. Alright. And usually... I don't... I don't know why. The animal oil residue, I, I just don't feel like it's used for anything. There we go. We usually sell that. And then we get a little bit of shrapnel for crafting. But I really love this game because of the economy. It's the main selling point. This, this game is very cerebral. Like, it's it doesn't have too much action, but it does. But most of the action is done, like, right in, right in here. Like, just the selling of things. And you know you can always if, if if you like bids bid only stuff you can always find uh, you know people selling so I think this this is actually pretty cool you can like just bid on it and then boom you'll win it eventually um, buying low like this is probably pretty cool but the thing is 
people do not like to lose any type of money they don't like to take the risk of just throwing it on there for the minimum amount and if you know when you do do a, a bid only it's probably best to just go ahead and set it at zero that way you're, you're saving money on the fee more than anything every time you jack up the price at the bid only at the at the minimum you're still paying your fee you might as well just throw a buyout price on it at that point I'm just 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 saying if you're gonna i like to throw it up just throw it up one day two days three days for at the the minimum price and just see what happens like let people have fun with it if i lose i lose but someone else's loss or my loss is someone else's gain that's just how that works just in case says thanks lord i feel honored I hope you are good as well. Thanks for the shout out, my dear friend. I hope to be back in game soon. Nice to be halfway back. Yeah. <laughs> it is always nice to get always keep your foot in the door, you know? You never you never know when you might want to come back and, and mess around. RJ said he said doo doo. Can you grief an entropia? If you go back to the beginning of this live stream as we're moving into the PvP zone, we find somebody and there's a fight. We fought somebody and we fought them well. Alright, let's see. We, we went out, we at least spent, what's about 70 PDs worth of universal ammo. We picked up a, a, a nice little guap of actual items to throw into the storage for future times and we, we did some mining we, we did very well we did very well this 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 game this game around um tomorrow we will be rushing to oh my god I'm, I'm really freaking out about this whole reevaluation in march should i just go ahead and max out my credit cards uh, and buy these treasure island deeds which what should i do guys i i, I just i mean if, if if worse comes to worse i could always sell it back you know and, and sell it back and then pay off the credit cards i guess if worse comes to worse i mean maybe that's that's what i should do you know just do that and It'd be a thing. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> huh. I look good. I'm really short, though, in this game. Like, there are people, like, so much taller than me. I really don't mind though, because you gotta be small when you're like doing PvP, and that 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 was the original thought. And we'll like come in come into this game in PvP, so you gotta be small. You know what? Chris Vadim says I wouldn't. I don't know. There 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 is there is no reward without risk. And, and you know what might end up actually happening? It might end up being double. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. When it when it comes down to the Crystal Palace, we bought like at least a good three thousand shares at ten apiece. Let's see how much they're worth now. Seventeen sixty is the lowest bid. Bet you if I was to drop that down to 17, they'd start selling like hotcakes. Uh, that's that's a profit of 7 PD a piece. It's like 70 cents a piece. It's not bad. Just imagine though. It's craziness. Is there anybody to kill? Is there anybody to kill? I'm gonna find somebody to kill. Maybe they'll kill us. You know what I really, really like about this whole situation? Is this ship right here? It's indestructible. 
Well, I mean, you, you can blow it up, but I can always fix it. I'm like halfway to turn. Alright, so we are in the PvP zone. So I think this is this, this little area is where we're going to be doing a lot of videos here in the future. I think the loot actually works here. The loot is actually really good here. Like the loot everywhere else sucks. The loot in this PvP zone is where it's at. So I think I think we're going to go out again and we're going to do the things I think I'm going to go over to the Hogalos this time, and we're going to have some fun with those. If I had a little bit more mind essence, I'd be more apt to just teleport there. I still got guns on this ship. Oh crap, there's somebody there. Uh, oh no. Oh no, He's, he doesn't even have armor on. I'm like sitting here freaking out. Oh no, he dropped something. There we go. Oh god, he's burning to death. Oh no! <laughs> he died. Rip. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Strike it up! Another kill in the PvP zone. We're go we're going to attract the wrong kind of people. <laughs> Someone just killed me in the PvP zone. How dare they? <laughs> So, yes, RJ, you can grief in this game. We just killed someone. I just killed him with, with the, the pyrotechnics, the, the arsonistic chip, one shot. entered in and just burned him to death. He's just sitting there running and burning. <laughs> <coughs> and the, But the thing is, in this game, like, PvP all you want. I mean, we're in the non-lootable PvP zone, so this is like PvP light. You know, like, you can't really loot people in this so whenever you kill somebody it's it's just just because of PvP period and uh, I think that that's actually pretty cool but it costs money it, it, I mean it costs money to PvP so in a way I just fed the loot pool I guess maybe, maybe we'll get luckier because of it all right, a uh, hogalo mature. We have the the best armor on right now. Oh, I was hoping the music would keep playing. I really hate that there's like pockets of areas that is, they don't have music playing. There we go. Level 35 Hogalo Mature. I remember when these things used to eat my face. And now 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 that now they're like big creatures that just don't do me any damage. Maybe it's the armor. This is a, a big, majestic, beautiful creature. Oh, keep firing at it. Look at that. It's big and ugly. You could probably ride one of these things if you really wanted to. If it didn't want to eat you. 
It doesn't have any arms, just legs. Imagine having to kill and eat one of these things to survive. 26.76 PED for killing that thing. That's a good loot. It's a hoggolo provider. That seems really bad. We can probably take it though. All right. It's on its way. I want to try to keep the the arsonistic chip on it. Come on, burn it. Let's go. I'll just keep mousing over this because uh, I don't really have everything set on my keybinds for any to switch over to anything. But it looks like we're doing all right. Let's keep the arsonistic chip on it. It still has the thing on it, so we're still good. It's about to wear off in another 10 seconds. No, it's about to wear off in two, one. Let's put that back on it. All it takes is one good crit. Look, it just ate me for like 30% of my life. Maybe we should probably go ahead and get this health back. All right. There it is. And then, and then, and then it just, it's a bigger creature. Could cost just as much as 270 and 40. Oof. Loot bad. <laughs> that's, that's the name of the game, though. The mining here is great. I should probably invest in another mining amp. Iron stone. All right, we do good. The iron stone. Get all the bunnies. Oh no! Oh, we'll go after another hoglo provider, man. Those things are hard. Maybe it might be for the best, though. Because usually, if you have to pump the money in, you know, you're going to get something good when they finally do. Coming out there swinging. Jesus Christ. Hope I dodge more. Keep hitting it. And just get all these skills. Really, I mean, this game is one of the chillest games I've played. I mean, you got got to really be on your toes, though. Or you will die. But you got no one to heal and no one to kill. Sometimes having a healer with you is always nice. It's a good way to make money. If you, you know, have some good healing capabilities. But I, I mean, some some people tip their healers and stuff like that. Now, I, I'd prefer to just have them in the team, and so they get a, a cut of the loot. And then I know it's kind of customary to you know help help them pay for repairs of the the tool as well. But maybe I should be a healer at some point in time. But I, I tried it once, and the, the person was really rude to me. And I, I didn't be a healer for anyone else since then. Like, they were really rude. Very entitled. Kind of made me angry. So I never did it again. I never volunteered to heal anybody. And we're in that, that music dead zone again. 
whatever. Get my handgun skill up, and then that should help me out. Oh my god, that thing hit me so hard. Oh, I'm already in the red. The light healing and ugh. Hoglo old, why are you just hitting harder than everyone else? How dare you? I guess it's probably because I was shooting him with a gun. He didn't like that. I guess these things have ears or something. I'm like freaking out. I'm really hoping that we can get some more hit points at some point in time. I, I know I recently uh, managed to get uh, an extra one hit point um, through skilling. I was killing Cornicatas off somewhere and got like a whole extra hit. Whoa, what did we do? Professional level increase. Translocation profession. Did we just get some Psyche? No, pa Power Catalyst. That's what did it. Nice. Leveling up. A level 53 Hogolo Guardian? Uh, okay. This is gonna suck. I've never killed a Hogolo Guardian before. It's level 50 freaking 3. Current action is busy and you don't know what you're doing because everything's in the way. And it hits like a Mack truck. So you're going to do more healing than you are killing. Ah, oh, this sucks. Can we take this thing out? This is it's bigger than everything else. You can tell, whenever it's a higher maturity, it's usually a lot bigger than the other ones. This thing's huge. I'm going to hit it with the kitchen sink and just, oh, it's still regenerating. more concerned with my health than I am actually trying to kill it. It keeps pushing me down to 50% and I hate that. Ah, jammed. That means I hit, I missed the entire arsenic, arsonist chip. That was what was doing extra damage. One crit and I'm toast. Alright, let's try this again. Put this on it. No, I did not need that in my life. Not another one. It's just a Hoggle. Oh, God. Hoggle Olds hit harder. This sucks. Alright, keep the heels up. Ooh, freaking out here. Oh god, they're getting me. Oh, and I just I absorbed a hit. Oh, 
jeez. Come on, just survive. Survive, it's almost dead. Did it. 13 and 5. Jeez. I kind of figured to give a lot more for that. That fight was intense. I feel a little bit more relieved now. It's just this Hoglo old, but Jesus Christ, they didn't have to hit me with the Hoglo old with the Guardian. I'm glad I survived. Like, uh, seriously. Woo! Like, serious, guys. I just, like, did something really great here. <laughs> At least I think so. Wow. You know what would have been really, really bad, though? If, if there was another player that I just killed earlier. If they'd come back and see me struggling, just try to fight off something. And they'd just kill me. Just to be funny. I mean, I'd do it. I just I, if somebody did it to me, it'd just be straight up karma, and we all know this is to be the truth. Ah, all those times killing everybody. Just in case it's nice, nicely done, lore. One more to go. I know. All right, and we didn't get too much for that, but whatever. It was a really good. It was a really good fight. I'm just sitting with 55 shrapnel and just barely any kind of loot. Animal spleen oil, which is, I guess is good. We got uh, a little bit of mining stuff as well. Oof. All in all, I think we spent way more on that big guardian than we actually get back in return, though. But, like we said before, we're mostly getting the skills up anyway, so... And I'm using everything in the skill increase bonus category, so it's probably not going to get very good loots like that in general, because the skill gain. It looks like a road, so we're going to follow it like a road. See where it goes. I'm thinking that it goes to... Oh, geez, I don't know where it goes to. It's just... Uh, whoa, what's this? It just popped up out of nowhere. It's nothing. It's just a part of the landscape. I thought it would be some sort of cool thing to pick up. Imagine picking up something new that no one else picked up before. Well, there's no mobs here. Might as well just drop a bomb. Cumbrous stone. Small. Yeah, the mining here is pretty nice. Really want... You know... This, I have, they have not gotten a, a, a mining global in forever... I really should go pick up some amps. I'm like just nerve wracked right now. But Chris Vadim says I, I, I wouldn't when it comes down to putting money in to buy us the treasure island deeds. I'll take it under advisement. But I did. I do remember saying that there is no reward without risk, so I might do something. But I don't know. I just don't know. Megan Stone, modest. Ooh, it's modest. But it should be like at least seven PD worth. Ooh, level thirteen in tier upgrader profession. I haven't done that in a minute. Upgrading the tiers. And how did that go up? 
It's from mining? That's weird. Heartless Toaster! Long time no see! Hey! How you doing? We're out here mining. We're mining in the PvP zone. Because why not? We've already killed like two people today. <laughs> we almost got killed by Hoglu. A guardian hogalo, but we killed him first. Speaking of which, there's some hogalos in front of us. Check the bombs. All right, let's see. Pull this bad boy from out of range. No way. There we go. Come here. All right, we're, we're getting this. How much further, how much longer until this is actually upgraded? Pyrokinetic damage has gone up to level 30. But what about the py pyro, 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 pyrokinetic is only level 23. So I guess we finally got that up to level 23 from 22. The Hagalo is not hurting me very much, and that's probably good. My Corrosive Attack Nano Chip 7. This thing cost 100 bucks, by the way. I paid 400 over just, just to have it. This is the only one. I don't feel bad about it. I'm glad I got it. So now I get to level up Pyrokinetic. 2829 Shrapnel Drop. Drop, drop, drop. All right, going after provider next. Come on. Don't want to get too close to the others. Frickin' jammed me. I hate that. And of course, I got this new pistol that I just bought recently. Cheap. Emac Enigma L3. I think maybe we can go with light healing on this. So we're just getting all sorts of different skills up right now. I can't believe I titled this in the tale of Ludius Maximus. <laughs> I think we talked about my own finances. <laughs> we did it all. We did it all. All right. No swirlies. We haven't. I haven't gotten a global in a while. The last global I got was a freaking Barraclid. It was just a, a a puny mob. It was a puny global. It was kind of horrible. Come on, switch over. Keep knocking this thing over. I really want. I, I really would love a, a Hoglo Global. 
I think I deserve one. The loot's been so bad lately. I haven't, I haven't been been playing very much, so I I I, I need I need a, a welcome back global or a Hall of Fame. That would be that would be swell. Practicing my Hoglo game for New Treasure Island. Animal spleen. Just one. Alright, turn that off. Hit hit it with their best shot. There's Sophie's in the way. Let's let's do some pistoleering with with this one. I think the pistol and and the pyrotechnics they they do about the same amount of damage. So I'm like a little bit, a little bit low. I mean, my rifle would do a lot more damage to it, a lot more DPS. But I'm just trying to level up the lower tiered stuff so I can be a little bit more well rounded, but. Being well-rounded in this game kind of sucks because then you'll end up with more hit points than than you should, and it's kind of hard to do mayhems now. Keep going with the arsonist chip, though. I bought a new arsonist chip, and it's pretty nice because you can get that extra DPS flowing for these these big harder fights. All right. Uh, no, I'm not going after that guardian. That was a hell of a fight last time. I guess we'll just. Probably just be happy with what we got. Which is pretty much nothing. We didn't really get much of anything this run. It's mostly just the mining stuff. And I guess it's mostly all all my all my money goes to my skills at this point. It's all the skill increase bonuses. I mean that's what it is. Getting barely lucky enough to continue the hunt. In game Bio Chronicle says, Well, learning about how Victorians died when they first invented running water, some pretty gruesome stuff. Guy sat on a toilet, it exploded, etc. Whoa. When they invented running water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they were still working with water pressures and stuff like that. And next thing you know, this is. Oh my God! Hit me! Hit me harder, big guy! You just like wrecked me. Damn near killed me. Tell you, it's going to be a really sad day when I have to replace this armor set. It's a, it's, I mean, it's a good $200 right there. I think the shadow armor was just as much. Just as good, though. Jackson Jackson says, If I'd been drinking out of that toilet, I might have been killed. LOL. Oh, looks like we're going to have to heal some more. These things definitely deal the, deal the damage that I don't like too much. Uh. 
Infrasound emitter component. That be that better be worth some markup, seriously. Market value, 103, really? I think somebody really needs to, like, start investing into the market heavily and driving prices up. <gasps> Ooh, it's a Bombardo. No resources found. No resources, boss. We're not, we're not making any money off these bomb drops. Biochronicle says, LD Ace Ventura. <laughs> I remember that movie from back in the day. I was a kid, man. That shit was funny. Alrighty then. All right, we'll follow the road back up. We'll drop bombs on the way. I think we're done with the Hogalos for now. Calderite ore. Just in case says, okay, Laura, I have to go down. Have fun. Stay safe, everyone. And thanks for the fun time. Thank, thank you much, Laura. I hope to see you soon. Back in 76. One last cheers, y'all. Cheers, man. Till, till the next time, bro. In-game Biochronicle says, Wow, sometimes methane gas would leak back into the house through your toilet. And when the pilot comes on, oof. Yeah, bad things be happening, yo. Wish I could just throw my vehicle down, but you can't place it down in the zone. You have to come in with it. All that for a poop. Yeah, jeez. Poop is dangerous back in the day. Or you could just like dig a hole and poop in it. You know? What humans have done with poop over the years just amazes me. Doesn't look like anything's dropping. Other than my pet card. <laughs> Alright, that's good. It's good for now. Unequip. <laughs> all right we have left the pvp zone we are about to enter into the how much money did we lose segment this is probably gonna be a lot uh, i'm not gonna math this out properly but we started with a thousand we're at 866 we threw some stuff in it already let's see I guess I'll count all of this. 56. 71. Plus all the other stuff from the other time. And you just do the math off that. I, I really don't care if we lost or gained. All I know is I had fun doing it. Merge all the stacks. Because God knows we'll sell this later. At some other point in the future. And... Convert that back into universal ammo. So, really, truthfully, we've really only spent a hundred PEDs worth of universal ammo. So that that's kind of cool. We've taken durability damage and whatnot, and only a 390 on the repairs. So that's cool. 
probably ate our armor all up, or Perseus armor. But it was fun. I had a good time. Alright guys, thank you very much for coming out today. I had fun. We all had fun. Um, more Entropia Universe videos in the future, of course. Probably going to be also coming out with Fallout content as well, as I said I would. Um, and maybe even other various games as well. This is what we're doing now. We're doing it all. You know, we're doing everything. <laughs> everything I can. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. As always, make sure Rincewin, you're sub to Rincewin75. That's right. Um, we talked about Stevie B uh, and his Entropia Universe videos. So if you haven't, uh, subscribe to him. Uh, he's a pretty interesting guy. Good information. Um, I don't know if Serial Over... If you like Rust, Serial Overdrive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, link down below for uh, Griefer News Merch and Wasteland Griefer and uh, Get Griefed. You can always get griefed. And uh, you can you can give me money to get griefed. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, hit the join button if you, if you so wish to uh, at three different tiers and become a raider. Um, if you're interested in this game in general, it is free to play. Um, just type in Entropy Universe and uh, download for free. PC only, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it come and play this game. And you want to join my uh, society, just let me know. <sighs> Everyone have a very, very chill 1st of December. Yeah. It's coming up here pretty soon. And until the next time, like, share, and subscribe. Again, just like, 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 hit, 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 like, hit, like. Bye.